Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing Malik Dory in Project 1999, doing a little bit of blacksmithing, making some teardown imbued chain armor, and wanted to go ahead and have a good friend of mine come over and help me, um, Dank Elf, uh, who is not on 03, for those of you who uh, know him. Um, I'm going to actually link to his video, because for some reason on my video, the audio is gone. So hopefully you guys will go check that out and you'll see how crazy I was about um, worrying about making sure I pulled from the same stack. I even said out loud everything I was adding into the menu. <laughs> it was I was I was a little bit worried. So the first piece that we're actually making are the arms, and then we're gonna also try to make the breastplate as well as the legs and gloves. So this was the first attempt, uh, which was making the arms, and they have really good stats. All these pieces do. So this has 7 AC, uh, 3 Wisdom, 3 Intelligence, 2 Agility, but it has Save vs. Magic. Every piece has Save vs. Magic on it. So if you want to twink out a brand new character, even a caster specifically, uh, you can go ahead and put this gear on them, and they'll have high saves to magic. That's not why I'm doing and that's I'm making this stuff because I like the look of it and I want to go ahead and put that on to my necromancer or to my cleric. Actually, it's going on my cleric because my cleric is currently wearing just um chain that I made him that is not imbued, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and uh set him up with a full set. Now, if you guys are interested in getting this set of armor, please let me know. I'd be happy to make it for you. Um, the prices are negotiable, but I have a pretty good idea as to how much I want to charge per piece or per um, AC or however we're going to do it. But um, I've been noticing the prices can go between AC prices or actual just prices per piece. Like legs and breastplate are a little bit higher than the rest. And then, and so on. But anyway, guys, um, just wanted to go ahead and show you uh, the crafting portion. It takes a silk swatch, an imbued gem, um, which is what uh, Nano was able to help me with, enchanted large bricks that you then break down into chain. And that was uh, also something that I got help with from my guild. Breeze took the time to help me. Um, will probably never help me again because of how much time it takes up and how big or heavy the blocks get whenever they become enchanted. So that is one of the funny things about this is that the enchanted, whenever you take large uh, blocks which stack and then you hand them over to an enchanter to enchant them, once they're enchanted they become individual blocks. So you can't just hand me a stack of enchanted blocks back. You have to hand me a stack um, uh, individual pieces. So I think whenever we were going back and forth between the forge and uh, to where he was because he was a high elf, I know that uh, he could have come down pretty easily as a enchanter, but um, didn't want him to get killed because of factions maybe um i don't know if he ever killed in um in um a uh, crush bone where the indigo brotherhood is uh any of that so I, I just wanted to go ahead and keep him safe and was able to go ahead and break these down uh into the the individual chains which restack by the way <laughs> That's the that's the funny part about it. You hand uh, I handed him four stacks of uh, bricks. He handed me um, the individuals, and then I turned them back into stacks. So either way, it all worked out. But I'm now leveling my enchanter Tortha to get them up to the point where we can actually make this stuff uh, to enchant it rather without having help from someone else because I know how. Uh, intensive it could be plus i can put torth in one place have uh, malik dory camped right next to him put the stuff on the ground pick it up with malik dory and then break it all down at the forge so anyway guys that's it for today i'm going to leave a link like i said before at the uh end of the video where you can go ahead and check out nano's channel 
and uh, check out the video where I was freaking out while I was making this stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will talk to you next time. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Mm -hmm.